This is the Terminator 12, Alchester Podcast, 2015. And you join us for a fly around this course with ace race photographer, Mr. Selfie himself, Tony Burke. So here we go. We're all lining up at the start here. And it's go. And first of all, it's quite easy going. There's a bit of road and uh, some fairly park-like land to run across and then a nice blast down a canal path. Uh, you can see the canal either side, but then it gets a little bit boggy. Here's just a little clue of what you've got ahead. This is what's known as the bog. Take the wrong line in there and you've had it now. Things get a little bit tougher. You have to go up your first very steep hill. Uh, it's all... Oh, look, there we go. There's Tony. Miss, that's why we call him Mr. Selfie, but just look how steep that hill is. Everyone goes up that on all fours. Okay, now we've got a bit more fast running to go on this track here and look what's lurking in the distance another hill this time but this hill is twice the size of the other hill but the reward of course is the view you get from the top and once again Tony has uh, taken a bit of time out to take a pic few pictures just to show us what it looked like obviously and then what goes up must come down like I say a lot of us don't get a chance to really appreciate the view so Big, big up to Tony here for not only racing, but taking the pictures as well. And here we go again. Now, this isn't anything. You can't describe this as anything. This is just what a stream has cut through the side of the hill. And you have to go up that. Then you have to go along a steep embankment. You, once again, you do not know which race line to take. You go all the way up and around the famous horse that's carved into the chalk on the hill. And th now that's the easy bit. Now you have to come down. And you've got to watch you don't slip over. I think a few of these guys did slip over. And then you can wash your feet in the river. And when you go through that river, you know that you're not far from the finish. And when you finish, you end up looking like this. But the smiles on their faces tell you that it was well worth it. And what? Well, hang on a minute. She doesn't look like she's run it. She hasn't got any mud on her. But of course she did. Sandy did run it and she did a very good job. And so did everyone else. And we're going to talk about these two either side of Tony in just a minute. But first of all, here is the official race report. Ha ha, you got beat by a girl. Once again, a large contingency of Olchester runners decided to take on one of the toughest races around, the Terminator. The Terminator 12 is a multi-terrain challenge that basically batters the hell out of the competitors with its vertical hills, bogs, fields, angled slopes with no race line and, well, just about everything a multi-terrain can throw at you. Why then do we do it? Well, for the challenge, the rush, the feeling of being alive and having a good laugh afterwards. James Pither once again impressed by leading the club home with a superb performance getting a top 10 finish in a time under one and a half hours. Just five men's off the winner. Olchester's Andy Stickley challenged the might of the ex-army captain but a fall and a twisted ankle saw him fall back into my clutches going into the final 200 metres. But now it's back to school, and the rivalry between teachers Ems and Freddy has been brewing for a while now. But after deploying new tactics, Ems finally beat the tough as nails teacher. So that makes two tough as nails teachers, eh, Freddy? Uh, 
And I also got beat by a girl. Yes, Ladies Vet 35 Claire Prosser of Wells and City Harriers finished 15th overall in a time of 1.31.07, giving me a good caning. But she was probably one of the fastest female multi-terrain runners in the world. Two Tonys enjoyed the race with Tony Burke having to light the reheats going into the last two miles after receiving info he could crack the two hour time barrier. Think he just missed out though by about 10 minutes. Thanks from all of us to the Johnsons for bringing this race and many other MTs to our attention and thanks to Pusey RC for great marshalling and organization with warm facilities, hot drinks, and cakes after the race. Oh, and well done to Sandy, who was not scared at all after watching my trailer vid for this event. See you soon.